Hey! Hey! No! That's my Mountain Dew. My bacon. Mmm. Hey, ladies. You wanna spend a little quality time with Zeldon here? I am the master of all spellcasters, after all. What? Hey! Christian! Christian, what are you doing here? No! Christian, no! 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 You had yours. Huh? What? There's... There's no more anime? What? There's... There's no more manga? What? Kiss X has finally ended? No! Oh. Oh. Oh, it was only a dream. Oh. Hey, everybody on YouTube. It's Zeldon here. The Magician Master 100. Known as the Master of All Spellcasters. Uh. Wow. That was some dream. Wow. Quite a tragic dream. I had a dream that someone was trying to take my bacon and Mountain Dew, and also that there, you know, there was hot chicks there. And then Christian came in and I told him no. And after that, there was also, you know, someone telling me there was no anime and no manga, and Kiss X like has finally ended. But it was all a dream, you know. We all have our tragic moments. I mean, our loved ones are bound to go through car accidents, or someone bound to die, or our own pets are gonna, you know, die someday. And of course, you know, we, we all, we all have our own tragic moments, basically. You know, I might as well do a review about tragedy. You know, what should, should manga or anime? Should, what I should do about tragedy? Hmm. What should I do? That's somewhat tragic. Now, the one anime or manga that seems to have a, some tragedy to it. Hmm. Alchemic. Alchemic. <gasps> Full Metal Alchemic! That's what I'm going to review today. So today, in this review, I'm going to explain to you certain tragic moments in, you know, Full Metal Alchemic. Some moments I actually been, you know, really shocked when it, um, you know, when I actually saw this. Well, I mean, it's somewhat horrible at the same time, actually, if you kind of think about it. I know it doesn't sound Halloween-based, but there's always somewhat tragedy in, you know, some horror films and some, uh, mangas and animes. And this is one of them. One of the... The um, tragic moments is when Edward and his little brother... Damn, what was his name? What was his name? Ah, well, but anyway... When they tried to bring the act their mom with alchemy. Now, what happened was... I don't really know what happened. But I do know that uh, Edward lost his arm and his leg. And his little brother... Gone. Just gone, but nothing but left but his blood, of course. Which, of course, then after that, Edward used that blood to make some sort of, like, seal, I guess, out of the blood, and put it on the armor, so he's still alive, so his entire soul is in the armor. But, uh, of course, Edward is also known as the Full Metal Alchemist. The, um... But some, at first, some people were confused at the um, whole name Full Metal Alchemist because they were thinking Edward's little brother was the Full Metal Alchemist because he's entirely made of metal. But, of course, Edward is somewhat like a, a quarter of metal. You know, his, only his arm and his leg uh, seems to be metal. Now, one of the um, most tragic moments I can think of this one episode, this one particular episode, has to do with the, um, a guy who happens to be an alchemist, his daughter, and their pet dog. Was there a wife involved? No, 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 there was no wife in there. But, um, anyway, the, 
way I saw it, I mean, it was an okay episode at first, but when I saw the ending, or some of the part of the ending, I just thought that that was a cruel moment. I just couldn't believe it. It was a horrible. And I'm really sorry this is not a really good review. It's um doing the best I can to make this review work out so I can at least make you guys a video. But um, I'll try to do my best, you know, either tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, anyway. Now, the um, the dad was pretty upset because he had to present something for the um, the alchemist. The other alchemist. Uh, I don't know how it went, but I do know he had to present something. Like an experiment of some sort. So, um... So what happened was, the father actually fused his dog and his daughter together to make a chimera. When I first saw that, I was like, HOLY SHIT! WHAT THE HELL IS THAT?! And of course, uh, the way she sounded, oh my god. I was thinking, the father's a monster. The fact that what he did to his own daughter and his own dog, just horrible. He's just plain cruel. But then he got it what he deserved in the end, but you gotta somewhat feel bad for the daughter that, you know, either way she, you know, died. I mean, that was just plain horrible of fusing his own daughter and his dog into a chimera. I, I, I mean, I, I bet you I would have presented something better than that. I mean, like on The Simpsons, one of the Halloween specials, when Bart found out he had a, had a brother, you know, conjoint brother, and, you know, the brother actually learned to sew two things together. He made a freaking pigeon rat! A freaking pigeon rat! I mean, if he can make a pigeon rat, he could have probably grabbed two random animals... Uh, put them together and made something. I mean, in freaking Avatar, they have two animals put together. They have a rabbit and a kangaroo. I mean, I expect that from the Wuzzles or something like that. You know, the, I got a Wuzzle, I got a... I don't really care. I mean, come on. A bumblebee and a lion? And an elephant and a kangaroo? And a... What? Oh, my God, these, these fusing of stuff. I'm sorry if I'm going off such a subject, but it just, I mean, it does somewhat sound unnatural, but, I mean, you could have made a new breed. I mean, there's a lot of episodes that made a new breed of creatures that, the, you know, that the father could have made instead of fusing his daughter with a chimera. Oh, I know a chimera. His, his daughter and a dog to make a chimera. I mean... Seriously, on Family Guy, they made an elephant and a penguin. They just made a funny moment with an elephant and a penguin and all that on for the whole Noah's Ark thing. But the one thing I've got to hate about Full Metal Alchemist... I, I mean, I don't hate Full Metal Alchemist. The only thing I don't like about Full Metal Alchemist is the fact... I mean, say, the fact that they're atheists. I know that in the dub, English dub version, they don't mention their atheists. What, sometimes they do mention their atheists, but in the Japanese version, they're atheists. But that's what I don't like about it, because I'm not an atheist. I do believe in God. I am somewhat spiritual. Um, but, it, of course, I mean, come on. How, who doesn't believe in God? I mean, I don't believe in that whole science crap. Screw that. Ugh. Well, that's the best I can do for a review today. I'm sorry this review is crappy. If you happen to like it, good for me. Or if you don't like it, I'll totally understand if you don't like it. Um, also, uh, go on my bro's channel. Subscribe to him. Go on our channel, Music One Master 100. Or if you want, if you have not subscribed, click that subscribe button. It's right there. I hope my finger's right on top of that. Just click it right there. It's right there. You either click it or punch that subscribe button excuse me or go on to my channel and subscribe there um so anyway uh thanks for watching uh catch you later